There are a lot of great investing apps, but which one is best for you? And this is a comment and a question I keep getting when it comes down to our $5 a day investing challenge. What works best if you're international? What works best if you're a United States resident and you don't want to spend a lot in fees? Well, that is what we're talking about in today's video. Now, you can use whatever works best for you in your personal finance journey. I'm not here to sell you on one particular app. Do what works best for you but I'm gonna give you some qualifications and these qualifications are things that you should look at before you decide to jump into an investing app or a brokerage or before you decide to jump ship to maybe a different investing app. Here are my four qualifications. Qualification number one is you should look for an investing app that holds commission-free trades. Let's say you go out and you wanna buy a share of Apple or let's say you wanna go out and buy an index fund like VOO or SPY that tracks the S&P 500. What you don't want is the old school thing of a commission fee. It's basically a brokerage fee that goes in and they would charge you for executing the trade. So let's say you only want to invest $5 into a particular share of stock. What you don't want is back in the day, you would have to pay an additional for me. It was $9 in commission just to buy a share. Well, that's kind of pointless. I'm putting in five and I got to pay you $9 to make it happen. Dumb. Look for investing apps with commission-free trades. Number two, look for investing apps that give you the ability to invest in fractional shares. This is the new thing, the exciting thing, and it makes it easier. So for example, VOO, going for over $400 a share. In the past, if you wanted to buy into VOO, you had to save up whatever the share price was at that particular time that you wanted to buy in. So today, if it's $400 a share and you only have $5 to invest, how the heck are you going to invest? You can't. Now you can if you get an investing app that allows fractional shares, which means you put your $5 into VOO and then it will grow. Your $5 will grow as the price and the overall performance of that particular fund that you buy into grows or falls or whatever. Number three, look for an investing app that does not have a monthly service fee. I don't think that that is necessary in the day and age that we live in. There are plenty of apps that are easy to use easy to get started, and then once you're in there, you don't have to worry about paying a monthly fee. Like, what's the point of that? If there's other ones that are free, why go to the one that's gonna charge you? To me, I don't see the added benefit of that. They're not giving me anything more than the free apps are giving me. And number four, of course, you wanna find something that's relatively easy to use. Depending on your skill level and how much you're interested in investing. If you just want to say, I want to grow my money and I want to come up with a consistent plan and not have to stress out and worry about it, find something that's easy enough to use that's not overcomplicated that you can set and forget. Now that brings us to the next biggest question and a question I get often on the channel. What about if I'm international? So let me run you through some of my top favorite brokerage apps. Some of them do have affiliate links in the description below. Anything I talk about that has an affiliate link, I personally use. I actually use a lot of different brokerage apps for a lot of different reasons, but also you'll get free stocks or some type of added bonus simply for signing up. So it's my way of thanking you. So let me start off with my top three favorite investing apps, and then we'll move on to some international options that you have as well. If my top three do not fit where you live right now, I got some backups for you. Let's start with number one, and that is Webull. Now, Webull is great because it offers you the ability to get started as a beginner, but also scale up. So if you're somebody that is interested in continuing to invest, continuing to learn about the stock market, crypto, and everything else, Webull has it all. They do offer recurring investments, so you can do the $5 a day thing if you want to. They also offer commission-free trades, and they offer you the ability to do fractional shares. That was something in the past that they did not, but they now offer that. So with recurrent investments, fractional shares, and no monthly service fee and commission-free trades, it is one of my favorites by far. When you get started, they'll also reward you with some free stocks. Check it out, link in the description below. Number two that I use quite often is Public. Now, Public is cool in the way, unlike Webull, they kind of have like a little bit more of a social media aspect to them. So like, let's say we take something like, I don't know, Facebook, or Twitter or X and we mix it up with an investing app. That's kind of what public's about. So through there, you can sync up with other people. You can have investment discussions. You can also see if people are willing to share 
what they're buying, what they're selling, and how much they're earning based on their investment activities. So a cool way to get started. It meets all of my qualifications that I just talked about, and they also reward you with free stocks for signing up. Link in the description below. Number three, and this is the app that I use for my $5 a day investment challenge that you've seen here on the channel, and that is Robinhood. Robinhood kind of paved the way for a lot of this commission-free stuff, a lot of the ability to do fractional shares, recurring investments, and all that. So they, they've been around since 2013, very, very, very easy to use. I've used them for quite a long time now. And again, like I said, they're the powerhouse of this $5 a day challenge. So those are my top three. Now I gotta say, some of them aren't available everywhere. What if you live in a place like Germany, United Kingdom, Canada? I got your back. Now, one of the biggest ones that seem to service most of Europe, United Kingdom, and other areas such as that is Interactive Brokers. Now, I have not used this app, but I've heard from a lot of you who are international and you absolutely love this app. So disclaimer, I do not have any type of relationship with Interactive Brokers, but they allow recurring investments. They do allow something that could help you with the $5 a day challenge. Just make sure you go over there and make sure do they actually apply to the country that you live in? And if they do, do they meet the four qualifications that we looked at earlier? Interactive brokers is something that I would look into. If not, here are a few other options for you. Do you live in Germany? If so, there's an app called Scalable Capital that is meant specifically for Germany. United Kingdom has an app called Free Trade. Europe, you can use something like eToro for your stock market and crypto market investing. Canada, Wealth Simple, and Australia, self wealth. So if you're stuck on where to go and, and what kind of app to use, check those out. Just make sure you're not paying unnecessary fees that you don't need to if there's another investing app that works in your country that would save you money over the long term. If this video was helpful, drop me a comment down below and I'll see you on the next video.